The first cool thing that I built was for my dad's shop. So he's in a wheelchair and everything around the house had to be custom modified. And to modify everything, you need a shop in order to fix everything. But first you have to make the shop accessible. And one of the first things that we built were these r giant rolling work tables. I remember like, getting down and measuring things and it was you know only my eyes who could see the number and writing things down and so I was very involved in the engineering process of that and it really was a thing we built which didn't exist met his needs and enabled so much more that we were going to you know that we ended up doing around the house and so for me it was a lot of agency. I was just given a lot of responsibility and agency and I was asked what my ideas were, which I think is really incredible for kids. We make miniature machines, mini manufacturing machines, and they're all computer controlled. So it's a lot like the machines that people use in industry. We're now putting innovation into the hands of a much broader group of people. It's people who have their own shop and maybe they want to do circuit boards, but also people who are into things like jewelry. So anything that you want to cut out or make patterns in. I think that it's, we're at a turning point basically where these technologies are now accessible in terms of money and ease of use. So that I think it's really everybody, everybody who wants to make something. So it's a lot like a drill bit, except for it's flat on the end, but it has spirals. And so it cuts materials, durable materials. So you put in a block of wood, and then you get a, this is the surface of the moon, a section of the surface of the moon. So you can do this with aluminum or wood, and a lot of people want to use this machine for doing their own circuit boards. Within a range of materials that you have, if you have high precision cutting ability, and you can make basically anything. We were part of Other Lab, which already had um, sort of an infrastructure there for us. There was industrial machines that we could use. It was basically like a giant, beautiful shop. And so someone on our team, Jonathan Ward, had worked on a prototype of this machine and we thought, okay, well, if we can just get by, if we can just get to the next step, which was we wanted to run a Kickstarter campaign and see, does anyone care about consumer milling machines? And it turned out people did. So we took that tiny seed money, ran a Kickstarter, got tons of support, and then we got, you know, we raised funding to, to launch our company and now we're to the point where we're manufacturing these machines in a, in a local California company. I really love to daydream about this, actually. <laughs> so I feel that because there's no technological reason why these kind, like machines with these capabilities, like there's no reason it can't be in everyone's homes. And there's no reason that people can't have their own small manufacturing businesses. They just need the right tools. And so what we want to do is provide tools, whether it's you know, fabric, like tools for doing textiles, tools for doing 3D milling, things like laser cutters, all of those tools should be inexpensive and everywhere. And when that happens, people will realize like, oh, there's this capability that exists. I have a need for it, I'm gonna use it. And then the people who want to will have like the same capabilities that industry has, which I think is really important. One thing that sets the leaders of the maker movement apart is the drive to make something be different. So to look at a system that exists and figure out how to modify it. And I think beyond that, you have to have a couple things. One, you have to have a crazy idea person and you have to have people who are great at executing, like the sort of pragmatic people to back up the people at the top who are like, let's do this and let's do this. So I think it, it it requires more because you have to start delivering on ideas, otherwise it's just an idea mill.